So in this video we're going to make some cake pops. You don't need a lot of different things, so I've basically got some sponge cake that's crumbled up. So literally just a normal sponge cake and you're just going to crumble it up by rubbing it together in your hands until it creates breadcrumbs. Now if you've got a really crusty edge on your cake, um, you don't want to put that in as you'll find it's difficult to roll them into balls if you've got the thick edge bit in. So we've just crumbled up the cake crumbs and we're just going to add some buttercream to that. Now quantity wise, um, I tend to guess. <laughs> Um, I just put it in until I'm happy with the texture and consistency of it. But you don't want to put too much in that becomes too sickly that people will want to eat it. So we're just adding in the buttercream. We're just going to mix that in. So once it's all mixed in, you're going to take some and we're going to roll it into a ball. Now it's a little bit sticky, is mine. I think making it a ball shape is the most difficult bit and when you've got it into a ball shape we're just gonna put it on here so I've literally just got a baking sheet that's lined just so that not lined well it's got a grease proof paper on it just so that we can put these on here without worrying about them sticking and you're just gonna keep going you want to try and get them all similar sizes So I've got a few rolled out, I'm not going to do loads and loads of them. Um, and what I'm going to do is put them in the fridge just for five minutes to, to harden them just a tad while I'm melting my colour melts. For the cake pops, I've bought some new colour melts that are the Renshaw's ones, so I'm going to give all these a try. I've bought a few different colours. So for this video, I've just melted some colour melts and now I've used the Renshaw's green ones so that um, I don't have to colour them myself. You can microwave them in the pot or I've just melted mine in a bowl. What I'm going to do is just dip my cake pop stick into the colour melts. I'm going to push them into the bottom of my cake pop. I'm not going to push it too far in. And I'm going to dip it in there, twisting it just a little bit, not too much. And then I'm just going to let, let it drip down a little bit to cover just the tiny bit at the bottom that I've missed. Okay, so once you've got it covered and you got rid of any excess, I'm just going to tap that because there's a little bit more coming off. I'm just going to stick it into a polystyrene cake dummy just until it's dried like that. So to create our Brussels sprout, I've mixed a pale green modelling paste. I've done it with modelling paste so that I can roll it much finer than if it was with fondant. I've used um, this Renshaw's flour and modelling paste and I've just added a little bit of dye to it. So we're just going to dust our work surface with a little bit of corn flour so that it doesn't stick. I'm going to roll our modelling paste out nice and thin. So we'll just keep rolling. Just keep lifting it off the work surface so you know that it hasn't stuck. Okay, so that's now nice and thin. So what I'm going to do is take a circular cutter that's a similar size to my cake pop. I'm going to cut some circles. Four or five in that size. And then I'm also going to cut a couple in a slightly bigger size. And these are just cookie cutters that I'm using. What I'm going to do now is take in my smaller discs first. I'm going to use a balling tool and a little bit of foam to thin the edges of them. You don't have to do it all the way around, just the top half. And then in the centre, I'm going to roll it in so that it starts to cup up. So that will fit around our cake pop a little bit better. So what I'm going to do now is just put some water, just ever so slightly, you don't want loads, on the inside of that. And I'm going to put that onto my cake pop like so. So I've done it so it goes up to the top. So it's not quite at the bottom, but that doesn't matter because we'll cover that up afterwards, okay? And what I'm going to do is take in a modelling tool. You can do it with a cocktail stick if you prefer. I'm going to draw a long triangle shape. Now, a lot of this will be covered up when we put the other leaves on. But we'll start with a long triangle. And then we're going to draw lines coming outwards all the way along 
and then you can add other lines coming off them as you would with any leaf so that you're just creating the veining on on the leaves okay so it becomes lighter as you get closer to the edge and it'll be deeper in the center now what we're going to do is to make it look a little bit more lifelike we're going to use some powdered food coloring so i've just got a white one here and i'm going to start with the white one in the bottom and you can brush it out so it starts to go into the rest of your leaf but you want your main bit of the lighter color at the bottom mine's a little bit pearlized but i didn't have any that wasn't pearlized in so if you're getting a white powdered food coloring um try and get one that's not shimmery okay so for the rest we're going to use a green so i'll just try and get the excess off my brush because i've got loads on there and we're going to do the leaves a little bit darker on the edge so we're just going to start from the edge in brushing inwards to change the color like so just starts to make them look a little bit more realistic than what they were before so what we're going to do now is repeat that and add more leaves so our next leaf, we're just going to stick the opposite side, so bringing it up to touch that one at the top, and bringing it down. So just push it on gently because you don't want to knock your cake pop off the stick. And we're just going to repeat the process that we've done on the other one. Okay, so we've got two on there now. And we're going to keep doing the same with another two, putting them at the other two sides. So our fourth one's going at the other side, just like that. And then what we'll do is once I've done this, we'll do the same with the other two and they'll go back on here, but you want to pull them so they go to the bottom. Okay, so I've added a bigger one now to that side to try and cover the bottom bit. So that's it. Have a go at making them. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video and would like to see more, please click on the images of the other videos suggested. Also, please do subscribe to my channel using the button at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. You can also visit my cake website and my Facebook page to see more cakes and ideas.